What up, YouTube? It's your big homie, AP. I had just learned some shit today, right? So I'm going to share it with y'all. See, I, I'm i somebody who take care of my business and, and my relationships like 90%. I'll say about 90%. And that's, you know, that's me trying to be as real as possible. I, I like to think that I'm a good dude and I'm a good man. And I take care of my woman and I take care of my kids and I take care of my, my, my finances. And all the shit that I'm supposed to take care of, I like to think that I take care of it. You know what I mean? And I get a little cocky sometimes because I feel like I'm doing so much and I'm taking care of business that I start to think that everything is all good. All right. Some of y'all might have the same issue. Y'all might think because y'all do so much and y'all better than so many other people, y'all think that y'all the shit. Y'all think that uh, y'all don't got no room for improvement or that everything is all good. So the point is everything's not always all good. And what I learned today, I actually was listening to uh, Tommy Sotomayor, right? I don't know if y'all know who that is. It's a uh, pretty big time YouTuber, right? A lot of people don't like this dude, but he got a lot of game, man. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all take a fucking second to listen to him, y'all might compete. You can learn from everybody, all right? Keep that in mind. Well, anyways, I was listening to this dude at work, because I, you know, and he was talking to a young man about a situation, but he used this analogy, and I took it and applied it to my life, right? He he asked the young man, if, you, if I gave you a dollar a day, for, you know, every day for the whole year, how much did I give you? He said $365. He said, now what if the day 366, uh, I ran my car into yours uh, intentionally and caused your car a couple thousand dollars worth of damage, right? Now for a whole year, for 365 days, I gave you a dollar. I gave you a free gift for 365 days. And then the next day, I cost you three, four, five times that amount of money. All right. The point he was trying to make is I might do good things for my woman every day. I might do a lot of things for my family all the time. Right. But if if every once in a while. Every year or so, every couple months or so, every couple weeks or so, whatever the situation is, I do something detrimental to cause a lot of harm or pain. Then it erases every little bitty thing that I did throughout the year, throughout that time where I was trying to do what I, you know, what I, what I felt like I'm doing all that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of business. I'm the man. I'm holding everything down. Everybody should be straight. Those those small instances that you think aren't much because they only happen here and there. You only have a blowout fight every once in a while. You only get caught up in some bullshit every once in a while. Or you, you, you disappoint her every once in a while. Those disappointments might be more detrimental and more harmful than all the many things that you did right. So I had to take a look at what dude was saying. And apply it to my life. Because when you get game from anybody or anywhere, see how it fits you. See how it fits other people you might can get that information to. Because not everything is for you. Not everything is not about you. Sometimes y'all y'all get game all the time. And y'all always think that y'all thinking about other people that need to hear this. But sometimes you need to hear the shit. All right. Uh, and I needed to hear that because I, I, I was getting kind of comfortable and arrogant thinking I'm just I'm taking care of business because so many men around me uh, fall short in their relationships and fall short in their household. So I feel like well, shit compared to them. I'm Superman. You know what I'm saying? But I can't forget the fact that I have done and I have uh, caused harm and I've I've wrecked. A lot of cars you know what i'm saying and, and that's an analogy meaning i had regardless how nice i am or how many things i did right the few things that i've did wrong over the years are painful and hurtful to a woman you know what i'm saying so i had to keep that in mind i just wanted to share that game with y'all so don't think because you do a whole bunch of little nice shit that the big shit you do wrong uh somehow gets a pass 
you don't get a pass for what you do wrong. Everything you do wrong in life, you're going to have to account for. You're going to have to make up for that. You understand? Regardless what you do right. And fellas, uh, just imagine yourself in that situation. Imagine you got a woman that holds you down, that then gave you everything she had to give, treat you good, the motherfucker that had your back when she shouldn't have had your back. And then she fuck up on you. She cheat on you or she lie to you or she, you know, don't come through one time. Nigga, you'd be ready to hang it up on her ass. All right. So, you know, we got to consider that shit, too, man. Sometimes we too busy uh, ready to replace a good woman because they fuck up when they done took us back or they done dealt with our shit over and over and over again. I ain't saying stay with no fucking slut. And I ain't saying uh, be a slut. I'm saying regardless what you do right. You have to consider the things that you do wrong. You may have to account for. All right. Those small rights don't fix one big wrong. You understand? So keep that in mind. I learned that today. I get that credit to Tommy Sotomayor. He did his thing on that video. I got some game, but uh, that's all I had to say. All right. Just because you think it's all good. Don't mean it's all good. All right. Y'all, subscribe to my channel. Show some love, all right? Peace out.